I've always wanted to come here. I can never come here because something's always happened and I had to go home instantly. So, sorry about the wind, by the way. By that gate, I thought it was permanently locked, but it's not. You can just unlatch it and they obviously lock it at night um, because it is 6 a.m. to sunset. We are at Brookfield Conservation Park, by the way. Um, no camping and visitors, uh, day visitors only. We go down to the visitor center. I was expecting the actual center, but. So there's actually two four wheel drive tracks here. I, did, I thought they were all hiking. The orange one is an hour return. That one's a 45. So I'm probably gonna give that one a go and see how we go. It's about two o'clock at the moment or one o'clock, I don't know. Um, so we'll give those two a go and go from there, see what happens. So it's a pretty big conservation park. It's 55, 15 hectares. So 5,515 hectares. Don't know what that is in acreage, but I know it's a lot. This place is also home to the hairy-nosed wombat. Um, one of the very few mammals in South Australia. It's just a semi-arid woodland and across Mallee Bush Reserve. So let's go check this place out. Let's hit this little fella. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, buddy. I don't know if you can see him in there. Hey, bud. Cool little blue tongue. Almost roadkill. Reverse a little bit to see if you went back on the road or not. It's those cool little things, little encounters that I like. No people here, so the animals just doing what they're doing. It's cool. Hopefully I get to see a wombat. Found some wombat holes. Where are the wombats? a bit warm out so it might not be out here. Yeah. So there are some parts of these two drives that are a bit high clearance and needed that's why I say full drive recommended. A good clearance vehicle will be able to do this easily. With Camry not so much. It's a good little drive nice and slow Take it easy. Oh, this is the uh, picnic ground. So some of these walks are pretty easy. I'll try and zoom in. There's flags every 100 meters or so. So you won't get lost, which is handy. Don't want to get lost out here. <laughs> Even though you'll find a road eventually. But I've also got at this picnic area some long drops. Just gonna suss them out. These are a bit fancy. Just thought I'd share this quietly. For a long drop, four stars. Uh, they supply toilet paper, so don't need to worry about that. But they are very clean and fancy looking. Oh, little, little Joey! The big daddies. So, being that it's quarter past two, I'm just going to do the blue bush drive on the way home. 
just goes back up to the main gate. The freeways, or well, the highways are just over there actually. I can see cars going past. But definitely come back here very soon, explore the, around the area. Remember to bring the camera. I just use my phone everywhere. It's not bad. I recommend this to anybody. It's a good day out. I would recommend knocking a few PSI out of the tires because it is rocky. Now, I haven't done that and much regret. So if you don't have an air compressor on board, they blanch down a few few kilometers that away. Truro is another few kilometers that away. So knock a few PSI out because that'll make the run a lot smoother. Little bit of dragon. Hey, buddy. Bye, little fella. Bye. I'll call him Bert, the bearded dragon. That was Brookfield Conservation Park. Good little drive. We did the Blue Bush, I think it was called. Blue Bush Drive. Fortunately, it's 240 2 now. It takes a lot longer when you're filming. I highly recommend this little spot. Great little day out. Little detour on the way to Riverland. Or home. Gates coming up. Let myself out and head on home. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one.